what's up guys? It's been a long time. And that got me thinking. And actually thinking about a question I've been wrestling with for about six months now. And that question is, why are good habits so hard to start and difficult to maintain? Why are good habits easy to drop? And why are bad habits so easy to start, easy to pick up? And what is it that makes bad habits so hard to get rid of? Why are the things that should be good for us, that we should enjoy, that should be helpful, so hard to do, and the things that so often can become harmful are so easy to do? When you get down to it, a habit is a settled or regular tendency or practice, especially one that's hard to give up. Habits, by definition, should be something hard to give up. And when we want to create good, healthy habits, why is it so hard to keep going? There's a reason that I've been thinking about this question a lot, and it has everything to do with what I am doing right now. Last year, around this time, end of February, beginning of March, I started this vlog. And from the end of February through the beginning of May, I was consistent in recording footage, in editing, in posting, in keeping you guys updated about what's going on in youth ministry here at Trinity. I created a habit. It was a good habit. I th feel like it's a healthy habit. It's a, a good way to stay connected with you guys as youth in your busy lifestyles and schedules so that you can still feel connected to your youth group. And then, things fell apart when we went on the retreat. I had big plans for the retreat, a daily vlog, three episodes, and I got them done. But at the expense of those weekly episodes that I was trying to maintain. And when I had a lot of footage just kind of sitting there from the month of May and didn't know what to do with it, I decided to take a break over the summer. And that was my second mistake. Taking a break from a habit that I had created made it easy to just drop the habit. And as some of you know, this fall, that doesn't mean I stopped recording things. I just got out of the habit of using time at my desk to edit, to post, to keep you updated. So why am I finally talking about this today? Well, today is Ash Wednesday. Today, we begin our observation of the season of Lent. And throughout Lent, we take time to prayerfully consider our own shortcomings, those places where we have fallen short of what God has called us to do. Every little sin, every little thing that we've done or neglected to do that has drawn us away from his calling in our life. On Ash Wednesday, we're reminded that the wages of sin is death. From dust we came, and to dust we will return. And throughout Lent, we take time to consider and draw nearer to our Savior Jesus as we think about the sacrifice that he made for us. And that's why during Lent you'll hear people talk about what they gave up for Lent. But I have a different proposal for this year. My proposal for this year is that we think about how we are drawn closer to God. So, my goal during Lent is not to give something up, but to get something back. And that's the habit of keeping this vlog. And my goal within that habit is to post twice a week. On Wednesdays with some kind of a Lenten thought, a thought maybe connected to what we're going to talk about in worship, or connected to what we would have done in youth group uh, if we had our normal time. And then on Fridays, a focus, a focused message on one of the Psalms. And my purpose for picking the Psalms is that as we prepare for the youth gathering this summer, the Psalms are 
A focus. Psalm 46 specifically is the main focus of this summer's gathering. So let's take a look at the Psalms together. I have other personal goals during this time, and maybe you too, and one of my goals is to maintain Friday as a day of focus. Within that, my goal is to use my phone, get this, as just a phone. I'll text, I'll call, but I'm not gonna be on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or looking at my Google News Feed. Instead, on Fridays, I'm going to take that time to focus and step away from those things that distract. Who knows, maybe that'll extend out to other times. Maybe it will become a fast from social media. Who knows? But how can you take that time to focus? You want to go along with me and set your phone down on Fridays? Or find something else. Draw closer to our God. Our real, present God. During this season of Lent. See you on Friday.